definitely a very weird walk. <laughs> Welcome back. It's been a minute since I've, I've done a video. I know it has and that's my fault, but life has been, uh, oh, what can I say? Life has been kind of crappy. So what have ha what's happened? Pandemic, which we all know about. I tore my meniscus, which was not fun and uh, found out in that process that I now have to replace my other knee. Whatever. <laughs> Outside of that, the video that you're gonna watch, that I'm about to show you, is my time from Tennessee to Alabama and back to Ohio. Being in Ohio at this moment allows me to actually concentrate on my printables business. I have opened up an Etsy store and I am creating a travel-based printable company. It's artwork for your wall, and who doesn't like to have artwork for their wall? I know I do. If you're interested, it's called AYJ Paper Trails. It's through Etsy, and I will include a link below so you can go directly to it. While I'm in Ohio, I plan on exploring quite a few of the places that are unique to Ohio. If you have any suggestions or must see things to do in Ohio, please mention it in the comments below because it's more than likely either I don't know about it or it's on my list, but I would really love to know what you wanna see. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It will be the last one for a while. I'm not sure when I'm gonna take my next trip. I'm gonna start planning that out because I know I can't. My knee is doing okay. So I gotta take it easy. Until then, stay safe. Good morning everyone, it is Joy from AYJ Adventures. Today I am in Seaverville, and behind me is the statue of Dolly Parton in front of the courthouse. So the statue was put here in 1987 to commemorate Dolly Parton, who is a big staple of this county, this state, and everything in it. Behind me is a bridge that was built in 1875. It's actually still mostly original. They did refurbish it in 2004. We are on the Anakista gondola going up the hills in the Smoky Mountains in Gatlinburg. It looks like it's going to be at least a 15 minute ride. <laughs> it's not going very fast. Okay, that's straight downhill. The good thing is I'm not afraid of heights or suspension bridges. The bad thing is my knee doesn't like it. <laughs> I could do it perfectly fine, but my knee, not so much. I would think that when summer is truly here and all the leaves are out, this would be really amazing, but you wouldn't be able to see as far. <laughs> it's definitely a very weird walk. <laughs> It's kind of cool. If you're not afraid of heights, this is the place to come to. Oh my god. Um, 
Charlie, don't freak out. Please don't freak out. Don't freak out. <laughs> oh, what was that? Well, I've made it to Alabama. I'm actually at Lake Guntersville State Park. I am in Alabama staying at the state park down here during the coronavirus. I was actually already on the road when all this happened, so I haven't yet made the decision as to whether or not I'm going to stay here or if I'm going to, or if I'm going to go someplace else. I don't know. I, I mean, there's no idea as far as how long this is going to last. Um, Alabama is one of the few places that has not yet closed the state parks. Right now, I'm off to go take pictures of waterfalls. I found a small little waterfall. I've been shooting about three minutes for exposure. So I can get this nice and smooth like glass. come down to the kind of the dock area to throw away some trash and the sunset behind me actually turned out pretty looking pretty cool figured I'd grab my camera so I can take some photos and I have my camera set up to take some pictures of the docks here trying to do some slower shutter speeds don't have a tripod but you know I'm using what I can to shoot the photos setting is manual mode 10 seconds at f22 and I do have it set to manual focus, so that way my focus is consistent. I pre-focus, it's almost at the infinity mark. And I do have the job noise reduction on. So after I take a photo, what happens is the camera goes into a mode where it's actually cleaning up the noise that digital tends to have when you do a longer exposure. It's not something I've ever really used before, but because I started doing the long exposure, I wanted to try it out to see what the results are gonna be. But this is my second to last night here at Lake Guntersville. I will be making my way back up to Ohio and where I will be hanging out to ride the rest of this coronavirus out. And then once this is all over, I will I'll get back on the road like most RVers. one of the hardest hardest stops for me to make this is where my grandmother's house was it was the gathering place it was the place that we as a family always got together this place 
I'll miss the fact that it never fit us. <laughs> it was a small home. Never designed to hold 14 people. <laughs> but we made it work. You know, we'd cram ourselves in the tiny ass little kitchen that existed to watch movies my grandfather made. The memories that you make as a kid, it's one of those things that you don't think about until you get older. We are currently in the upside down world without any giant monsters. I'm gonna wait it out. I'm gonna see where the road goes. I don't know. I don't know. Arkansas that lives at, there's a campground in Arkansas that lives at, well, I can't even say it. <laughs> hey, what are you eating? What you eating? Straight, I will 